All right, so I have my joystick to use, and I kind of made a little adaptation from what was done uh, this morning. I saw these as straight, and I figured, well, we needed, and you'd have to hit that perfectly on that spot, and that would be very hard to do. So I bent these, uh, these paper clips to make it easier, so that way I had a larger surface area to ensure that I got this done, but I thought, what a great idea for an adaptive um, adaptive uh, game controller for students is you really just need to be able to put your hand directly on top and be able to move this around. Now you can make it obviously a better situation, but this would be something I'd want my students to practice to say, hey, I can make this, now let me make it better than what the teacher has. All right, so an update final project is I did do the joystick. I ended up changing it slightly. I felt that we needed to kind of be able to move the um, the joystick a lot less space. I ended up um, pushing these down a little bit and curving them, still giving them space, but probably be helpful if I had like some kind of thing, some kind of like wire, um, some, some, some things for some wires. I also added a... Um, a ball at the top of the joystick just to make it easier in case they wanted to use just a hand to be able to use it. I also had a um, an idea of instead of um, buttons to be able to press, um, better thing, especially for those who have the ability to move their hand but they don't have the ability to um, to flex it or grab things, is they could put their hand here and then they can rock back and forth depending on which um, button they would like to have. Obviously, that's a mock-up right now than anything else. I tested it out on Tetris and was able to get uh, some feedback um, on these from my family just to kind of help things. Um, biggest thing is cord management is something I would definitely encourage my students to consider for any redevelopment of anything. Okay, thank you.